Well, from those of us in the Senate, a huge thank you to the House of Representatives for standing up against war with Iran. Yeah. At this moment, as we're on this brink of another major conflict, we should reflect for a moment on mistakes that we have made. An effort to occupy a nation built in Afghanistan, thousands of deaths, tens of thousands of injuries at over a trillion dollars. How about we not make a mistake in Iran the way we made a mistake in Afghanistan? Yeah. And we should think about the situation in Iraq, where false intelligence led to Congress approving going to war, only to find out we've been lied to by our own government. And again, thousands of deaths of American sons and daughters, tens of thousands of injuries, a trillion dollars. How about we not make the mistake in Iran that we made in Iraq? Yeah. I think about how this administration, with its cycle of uh, provocative acts and escalation, has damaged virtually every objective we've had in the Middle East. Yeah. It's placed at greater risk our citizens, our service members, our assets in the region. It has turned demonstrations in Iran against the government into demonstrations against the United States of America. It has turned demonstrations in Iraq against influence from Iran into demonstrations against the United States of America. It's led to the parliament of Iraq voting to send us out of the country. It has resulted in a shutdown of the training for ISIS. It's resulted in every objective being overturned. How about this? No war with Iran. No war with Iran. Not now, not next week, not next month, not next year, not during this presidency, not during the next presidency. No war with Iran. No Thank you. We've got House members en route to vote. We want to get them up here. Thank you for coming out on this cold day and being in this fight. Today, can you come back when the Senate's voting about 10 days from now to protest and make it clear? Thank you and God bless.